I will paint an ultramarine in the Games Workshop box art style. This style seems to be easy. You just have to base coat an edge highlight, right? Well, not exactly. It's usually a well-guarded secret, but Dave from the Infernal Brush YouTube channel is a former heavy metal painter and creates amazing tutorials on how to paint miniatures. So that's the goal. I'll try my best to paint like this in this first episode of Painting Like using the tutorial that he made. The heavy metal style is all about a few key points which I will follow step by step. So let's start painting this ultramarine with a base coat of Macrec Blue. The airbrush is the best way to have the perfect smooth base coat that I want. This step is crucial. It needs to be clean AF and as close as possible to the color of your paint pot. This way, if you make a mistake later on, you can apply again the initial layer of paint with no difference. The heavy metal style relies on a very clean base coat, deep shading in all the recesses and highlight only on the edges. That's why this base coat is the most important base coat of my life. After the base coat, I now paint the areas that won't be blue in Abaddon Black. That will allow me a better view of the armor and the edges. Next, I move on to the shading step. As I mentioned before, I will focus only on the recesses and the edges of the miniature. I use Abdom Black and Macro Blue mix at a 1 1 ratio and well diluted to the consistency of a wash. I should see a clear demarcation of all the volumes when this step is completed. The lie about the Evental style is that it needs to look achievable and easy. This style is based on edge highlights because of two main reasons. First, it's easy to understand and to copy, and second, that enhances all the parts of the miniature. The second reason is to make you love the sculpture of the minis even more and obviously buy it. And it works very well! So now it's time for the first highlight and all of them are going to be edge highlights. The goal for this process is to create a highlight a little bit thick and then create a smaller and lighter highlight into the first highlight and continue doing that until the lightest highlight. For the first relatively large highlight, Although large is relative, we still use the brush tip. I use a mixture of Macrec Blue and Kaga Blue. The most important thing is to try to be as consistent as possible. If my first line is perfectly straight, I go over it with the Macrec Blue base layer to make it as close as possible to a perfect straight line. This is the first result after the first hedge highlight and honestly, it's good. At this moment, I'm not too afraid, I just need to continue to be precise and focused and everything is going to be okay. I hope. The next highlight is Kirk Blue. As mentioned before, the goal is to make a slightly final line into the line you've already made to further enhance the edges. Honestly, it's starting to be harder. The level of focus you need is big. And just after that, I repeat the same step, but making an even more final line with a 1-1 mixture of Fenris and Grey and Carga Blue. Now, the focus level needed for this task is a little bit exhausting. After 3 or 4 layers, I look around to minimize the damage my eyes could get by forcing too much.
Now I make the last highlighting step with pure Fenris and Grey. This time I only do the brightest parts, which are the Venetal and also the part I want to emphasize, especially the angles. In fact, the problem of this technique is the stress generated by it. For every line, I'm telling myself, don't overflow, I don't want to start from the beginning. I think that's a feeling that goes away with time and practice of this style. I hope so. Now I finish the highlight with just a few small points of blue horror on the angles or in a few places I want to enhance. And this is the result of the finished armor. Finally, I finished the blue armor. I can now finish the Space Marine. And all the color would be treated in the same way as the armor. I start with a metal with a base coat of lead badger. Then I shape the metal with basilicanum gray. And I'll finish by highlighting it with an edge highlight of Stormhost Silver. Really cool, fast and efficient. At this moment, I thought that Dave added a step to recover from the hard focus on the previous step. Now, I move on to the gold with a base coat of Retributor Armor. I shade it with Gold Grunter Fur. Instead of what Dave did, I treated it as a global wash because it was too complicated to put only in the recesses. So I do the base coat again with pure Retributor Armor. Once done, I apply a second highlight with a 1-1 mixture of Retributor Armor and Stormhost Silver. I'm done with the medals, and now I move on to the black. As seen at the beginning of the video, I based all the other colors in Abaddon Black, so I can directly highlight the black. I do this with black grey from Vallejo, which is the closer paints that I have of the Citadel's Corvus Black that Dave uses. After that, I highlight in the same way than before with Downstone, and I finish the highlight with Administratum Grey. Ok, I'm done with the black. So I move on to the ladder. I base all the ladder in Renung's hide. Then I darken it with a 1 1 mixture of Renung's hide and Abaddon Black. Obviously, heavily diluted to have a wash like consistency. I do the first highlight with Dumbled Brown, and for the weapon holster, I try to simulate folds by making a small line of Dumbo Brown in the middle, just like Dave did. And enhance all of these with highlight of Mountain Brown. But honestly, I'm not happy at all with the results. I'm still going for the last highlight of XV88, but that doesn't change anything. I failed to replicate this process especially. So I'm completely improvising by diluting some Dumbo Brown and try to do the effect again. I highlight and try to smooth blending the effect and at the end it's like that. Not too happy, but I will know if it's terrible or not at the end, when I will have glued the Space Marines entirely. We will see! The last step of painting the Space Marines is the lenses. I base them in Mephiston Red, slightly diluted, trying to leave a little bit of black on the edges of the lenses to create depth. But I failed. <laughs> So, I do a 9-oil wash. 
I do the first lens highlight with white red red. After that, I apply a final highlight of Fire Dragon Bright. The lenses are finished, but the cool effect is achieved by putting a white dot in the darkest part of the lenses. It's the reflection of the light. Nice tips, Dave! Thanks, my lenses are better with that. I think that changes a lot the effect of the lenses and makes it really cool. The painting is done! All that's left to do is to apply the decals. I put water on the shoulder part, apply the decals and put as many layers of microsole as necessary to make it flat and well adhered to the shoulder pad. I've never used microsole before this step. And you know what? It's a really, really useful tool. I love it. And here we are. The painting of this ultramarine in elemental style is finished. Honestly, it's really hard to stay focused during this amount of time, if you're not accustomed to it. I felt way more confident on the last step doing fine lines than at the beginning. I learned to take my time to make the perfect lines as much as I can. I really do think that it's a great experience, and that every painter who want to improve their skills of fine lines should try to reproduce this effect. Dave also makes some great tutorials on other things. I'm a patron since more than a year now, and I really appreciate all his tutorials. You should give it a try. Until my next video, you can watch this video where I'm painting Angron in my own style. Bye!